What's up, guys? One of my favorite things to do um, as a crafter, um, pay the crafter, by the way, is I love to make socks. I love socks. We're making socks. We're making socks. Little man loves socks. So I figured, why not make a pair and show you how easy it is? I'm going to take a picture off my phone, um, send it to myself. No, nah, we don't want the magnet. I'm going to send a picture to myself and put it on some socks for us today. Yeah? Yeah. Like, you want to see my, mine and your face on some socks today? You didn't know that you could like make these kind of color socks? Put that on some socks? Yeah. Well, what if I put me and you first on a pair of socks? Yeah. Yeah? So let them know we're making some socks. We're making some socks. Say, so here we go. Here we go. All right, y'all. And for these socks, I'm going to be using uh, some G-Sub from my boy E over at Garment Creations. You guys know I love this paper. And that's what we're using today. And we're firing up the Epson 2720. Yeah. And then we put the paper in the slot. Put the paper in the slot. Paper in the slot. Put the paper in the slot. What paper in the slot? Put the paper in the slot. I'm just feeling myself. Don't mind me. Paper in the slot. Put the paper in the slot. Then I'm just gonna hit print on this bad boy, show you what they come out like. But again, socks are one of the easiest things to do. A lot of profit behind socks, and everybody needs socks. You can't wear the same pair of socks every single day. You wash them a few times, they're kind of done. So you can always use a new pair of socks. So at any point after this video, once you get done watching it, if you'd like to order some socks, I got you. If you have an idea, let's put it on some socks. Here we go. You guys wanna see something super funny? Watch my little twin, watch this. Put it on some socks, put, put, put it on some socks. Put it on some socks, Papa. Put it on some socks. Go. Put it on some socks, Papa. Put it on some socks. Put it on some socks. Put your Tonys on. With your Tonys on. Get it. With your Tonys on. With your Tonys on. It's just me and this guy, and I love life. And he entertains me. I entertain him. And when I'm pressing stuff, I mean, nine times out of ten, he's with me anyway. So you guys always see him. And so I try to involve him somehow. I try to make sure I'm balancing my time as I'm working. I'm still running over and doing things with him. I mean, not that that has to be any part of this video, but I'm look. I'm gonna tell you anyways, because this is my life. So let's get back to the socks. Put, put, put it on some socks. Right, so I think it came out pretty nice. That's our first one, right? Me and my guy. Let's print the second one. All right, we got both our printouts and we're about to put them on some socks that I'm gonna rock. I might rock them today. We're heading over to the boxing gym after this and these might be what I wear today. Let's put them on some socks. All right, right here, my friends, these are a pair of jigs. If you order from Silky Socks, they always send you jigs with every every type of uh, item that you order, whether it's socks, whether it's beanies. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna slide these here socks on these here jigs. And these are reusable, you can use them quite a bit. Uh, you'll know when it's time to throw them away and slap in some new jigs, but jigs are so super important to have inside of your socks as you're pressing them. Now that we slid that first pair in, right, so this is what it would look like on your jig, but with the, uh, I don't know what to call this, I'm gonna say the booty of the sock. What I like to do, what I've learned from watching um, my folks over at Silky Socks is fold that guy in there. All right, so we've got both of them on the jigs now, right? So I, I like to make sure I got them lined up. And then these edges over here, you wanna make sure that you roll them over, right? So that you can hit that white part right there. So when you print to the opposite side, you're able to get into that crease also. You'll do the same thing rolling it back that way. You'll see what I'm talking about in a second here. But now that I got everything on here, I wanna make sure that my photo is going to fit, which it does because I sized it correctly to that. I sized mine at nine going across and eight coming down. That way, I, see, I don't like to have a lot of bleed uh, in, the, in the actual sock section. Maybe it's a little bit, you know, but I like to make sure that I have that design fully on there, no bleeding around any of the edges, nice and clean, you know what I'm saying? So let's press the first side. 
All right, so we've got it on there. I put some tape on the side, secure it down. We're gonna put some parchment paper over the top. This is GC sub paper, so you do need parchment paper over the top. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's throw it on the press. All right, and uh, you were gonna press this thing at 400, medium pressure. I'm pressing mine for 40 seconds. All right, it's done. We've removed that rice paper. Let's see what we got, guys, on the first side. Yeah, yeah, right? Look at that detail. Now we're gonna do the same thing on the opposite side. All right, y'all, this is the back side. Woo! Yeah, they always talk about that ink release. Now look, this is GC Sub, right? Let me tell you, his ink release is beautiful. And there's our finished product. Let's take them off the jig now. Look at that detail. Look at my little guy. That detail, what? I love them. Yeah, let me mention too. So when you, this is the front side, right? When you press on the back side, make sure that when you go to press on the back side, when you flip these over, right? That when you print on them, they're gonna go in that same direction as the front. If not, obviously you know that would be, I'd be on this side, he'd be on that side, and it wouldn't match, right? If you catch my drift. But this is the back side, same old thing, right? Great, great, great detail. Let me also add that anytime you buy some socks, some underwear, some beanies, whatever it is from Suki Socks, right? They also send you the bags that you can um, put these into. More of a professional look when you're going to sell them, right? And so I love, I love, love, love the fact that they include this. Um, of course, I'm not gonna, I'll show you me putting them in the bag. I'm not gonna close it, but if I were to press some socks for somebody, um, they would come in these. I love that. Look something like that, right inside the bag. Isn't that super cool? Super professional looking, right? That pretty face. Oh, I didn't mean mine. I meant that pretty little guy right there. And of course, you then seal it, send that thing off. All right, guys, there you have it. You saw how easy it was. I took a picture on my phone, turned that into some socks, and you can do that with anything. It's such a profitable, profitable um, business, the sock business. Um, if you can offer these, trust me, they are a hot sale every single time. Sports teams, churches, events, family reunions. I mean, there's so many people that are always gonna need some socks, right? So if you guys enjoyed that video, please uh, hit the like button, subscribe, follow what I'm doing, hit that notification bell. I'm leaving links at the bottom to Silky Socks where you can order all your um, socks, underwear, beanies. They even have garments for your pets. It's got a lot of stuff going on over at Silky Socks. Also, there's a link for the GC sub paper at the bottom. And there's a link for this sublimation printer down there as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you need some socks done, if you need some socks done, hit your boy and let's put them on some socks. Last thing for me, I'm going to throw these on my feet right now. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out.